Going gridlock on Capitol Hill has implications not just at the national level, but for those waiting to get sworn in. That includes newly elected congressman and former Cincinnati City Council member Greg Landsman. Local 12's James Pilcher talked with Landsman and his wife Sarah this afternoon. It turns out his family may have to miss this important major milestone. It was going to be a major family affair for the Landsmans as they flocked to Washington, D.C. to see Greg Landsman get sworn into Congress this week. In fact, Landsman's aunt came from Boston, and his sister and her family came from Indiana to watch the historic event, but had to leave earlier this week. Landsman provided these pictures and video of his family in Washington. His wife Sarah says it's been disappointing for the family, but in general for the country as a whole. We have fewer today than we did on Tuesday. <laughs> I can tell you that. But I started out this week really optimistic yeah. about almost like a fresh start. Yeah. And nothing about this feels like a fresh start. Landsman says his wife and two children are going home Friday no matter what happens. They don't want to miss his son Elijah's basketball game Friday night. That means if there is more voting this weekend, they could miss Landsman swearing in. Landsman himself is staying behind in D.C. to participate in a vigil remembering the victims of the January 6th assault on the Capitol in 2021. It's so important for us to remember what happened uh, two years ago tomorrow and the fact that elements of that uh, uh, are playing out on the House floor right now. Sarah Landsman says her two children learned a lot working next to their dad this week, even if he hasn't been officially sworn in. She's glad they've had the experience, but wants the country to get back to normal and says not to feel badly for her family. As much as we're talking about how we're not going to miss a game, the kids are missing school, the, the real tragedy is the fact that we just aren't making any progress. Yeah. There is no order. James Pilcher, Local 12 News.